Our work is finished, Liu Kang. Lord Raiden. I am merely Raiden now. You have proven worthy to take my place as the new protector of Earthrealm, once it is restored. You honor me, Raiden. The honor is mine, Lord Liu Kang. The sands of time are now yours to shape. It falls upon you to architect a new history. The fate of all realms in my hands? Raiden, I cannot do this alone. I shall advise you for as long as my mortality allows. But have no doubt, you are up to the task. Then together, let us begin. Deceit. We will not hear it. In defeating Kronika, you destroyed her crown. Without it, you can't restart history. The hourglass will shatter. All realms will be lost. Fujin, is this true? Kronika's every action was taken to ensure her crown's preparation. She would not dare to restart history without it. How do you know this? Kronika came to each of us. For our help, she offered places in her new era. For refusing her, we were banished to a void beyond time. We could observe the events leading up to your siege of the Keep, but we were powerless to intervene. But then you killed Kronika. The void seal was broken open, permitting our escape via the Hourglass. If you know so much about the Hourglass, how do you propose I reset the timeline? With the crown. The crown is destroyed. Only in our present, not in our past. And while I cannot restart history without the crown... You can send travelers back into the current timeline. I see. I must return to the moment before Kronika's defeat. End that battle differently, so that her crown remains intact. That leaves too much to chance. Kronika must never possess the crown. Otherwise, you cannot guarantee victory. What do you propose, sorcerer? That you send me into the past to steal the crown from my island before Kronika sends Cetrion to claim it. I'll then deliver it to Lord Raiden, and together we'll defeat Kronika. With the crown and hourglass under our control, we can restart history safely. <laughs> Why are we listening to this snake? Because I am a snake who's toiled beside Kronika, learning her secrets. I know them. Do you? He has a point, Raiden. Put it. A word? How is it you conspire against Kronika? Did her promises of grandeur not suit you? She wanted me to be her pawn, not her partner. She sculpted my entire existence to serve her, to collect souls for her crown. When my purpose was served, she betrayed me, casting me into the void. Your grievance does not fool me, Shang Tsung. 
Then trust that we have a shared interest in breaking chronic a stranglehold on our destinies. Inevitably, our interests will diverge. This alliance is temporary. Have no illusions otherwise. I understand your misgivings, but it is the only way. But the risk, Liu Kang, will be rewarded. Say nothing to Nightwolf. We will proceed with your plan, Shang Tsung. I must stay behind to operate the hourglass. But Nightwolf and Fujin will go with you to supervise. I welcome the assistance. I will join you. No, Raiden. I need your counsel here. Have faith in Fujin and Nightwolf. If I have faith in anyone, it is you, brother. I will try to send you back to the Time Merger. You should have enough time to claim the crown before Cetrion delivers it to Kronika. Your confidence is inspiring. As the Keeper of Time, I am still a novice, Nightwolf. May the Great Spirit protect us. Pretender's hands, but I've returned, and I will save you from his madness. Only I can rebuild the Empire. All realms will tremble before me. Outworld will again be conquered, never the conquered! I'd have had no need for Melina. My sister was an unholy monster. Exactly like you, father. <laughs> 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 After the time merger, yes? The battle between Kotal and Shao Kahn. No, look! It's much later than that. This is Kitana's battle with Shao Kahn. Then we're almost out of time. We must escape quickly. Changing this battle's outcome could cause Cetrion to claim the crown earlier than expected. And guarantee our failure. Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! 
We escaped the battle undetected. Shang Tsung, or not? Where have you been hiding? You can sort with Earthrealmers now. His business is none of yours, Collector. My business is collecting what Shao Kahn wants. He will pay handsomely for you. You're outnumbered, Collector. Am I? There's our goal. Kronika's defeat. You will be partners in death. Thank you, great spirit. Shao Kahn. He always had more ego than skill. Come, let us leave while the crowd is distracted. No, we're already here later than we wanted to be. Let's go to your island now and take the crown. No detours. A rather public arrival at the Colosseum makes that impossible. Chronica's outworld allies will inform her of our presence. Go to my island now. We could be ambushed by Cetrion herself. And our combined power won't stop her. We need help. But whose help? We can't recruit any of our allies without altering this timeline's events. Sindel. Sindel's a revenant. Who can be restored to life. And who plays no major part in the battles that lie ahead. We can safely recruit her without disrupting events. <laughs> it's a tactic Kronika is unlikely to anticipate. She was Shao Kahn's empress, his equal in evil. Because he had her bewitched. Returning Sindel to life will restore her original, more heroic self. And if we fail? The Sindel I knew wiped out most of Earthrealm's champions in a single battle. If Nightwolf hadn't sacrificed himself, she would have killed them all. And that is the power we need to assure victory against Cetrion. Sindel is the key. And I suppose restoring her will be easy. Anything but. We can use Earthrealm's Jinsei to heal Sindel's body. But to break Quan Chi's spell and revive her soul, we will need access to Outworld's soul chamber. Uh, you have a different plan, Nightwolf? A better one? One hint of betrayal, Sorcerer. And we will finish you. Where do we start? Earth realm to acquire the Jinse. Coliseum. How is that possible? It should not be. Those cast into the void do not return. If Shang Tsung were to... I am aware, Garrus. Take Frost and find them. 
We must discern from when and whence they came. That will be sufficient. You two may leave. I'll stay behind to secure the grotto. Your aid is not required. Shaolin was so diabolical. From you, that's high praise. Indeed. Nightwolf, Shang Tsung, come. Kronika is keen to question you. Isn't the future, Frost? We've seen it. Join us on the right side of history. The only side is Kronika's. My place in her new era is assured. <laughs> I am eternal, Fujin. My will and my strength, infinite. I have fought. You are the fiercest. It must be why the Great Spirit chose me to wear the mantle. You are also anomalous. No one has ever escaped the void. Fight! Uh, 
Is that necessary? To buy us time. We must be rid of him before he recovers. Fujin, summon the wind. Realm. Havoc will keep him entertained. Let's get to the Nether Realm. We're running out of time to find Sindel. Entirely unexpected, given that she did not aid in the Keep's defense. What was her role then, if she is such a formidable weapon? Is it possible that. Ah! <sighs> Great Spirit. What is it? My Revenant. Cannot save you. Take them to the Bone Temple. Nightwolf. Shang Tsung. Nightwolf. Shang Tsung. Where are we? Shinnok's Bone Temple. Raiden's violence against our lord will not go unavenged, Fujin. Prepare to pay for your brother's sins. Sindel, if you look well, death becomes you. Always the charmer, Shang Tsung. I will enjoy feeding Lord Shinnok your soul. most. Only the best will do for the man who killed me. I should have saved you. Hopefully we will today. <laughs> without killing my revenant. I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> As Raiden said to Lord Shinnok, there are fates worse than death.
I can imagine few fates worse than yours. <laughs> Sacrifice will save the Matoka. Kronika has no love for our people. The Great Spirit is a fraud who allowed us to suffer. Kronika is our future. Fight. Kronika is not the answer. Soon stop. We can restore him. He wounded me. If I die, we fail. Sorcerer, I'll. No, Nightwolf. Shang Tsung must live. Be now? I am healthy, Nightwolf. That should be your concern. Both of you, please. We must make haste to the Soul Chamber. Then let us hurry. And hope Shiva is as eager to aid us as I anticipate. Escort you and your comrades to the Soul Chamber? Yes. Have you come from the future only to insult me? I am no sword for hire. This request is far below your present station, your highness. But defeating Kronika depends on us reaching that chamber. Why? Because we must restore Sindel. My Empress. You've captured her revenant. Together, Fujin and I can restore her to life. Why? To make a slave of her, as Quan Chi did? So that she can aid us against Kronika. But you have my vow. She will return free of all influence. As I recall, you were bloodbound to Empress Sindel. I was her protector for life. How it must have pained you when she died. That was not your fault. You could not save her then. Now you can. Then I... No. We must present this to Kitana Khan. Respectfully, your highness. If we approach Kitana... She'll cut Shang Tsung's head off. Kitana never appreciated my contributions to the Empire. Like replacing her with an evil clone. Yes. Time is short, Queen Shiva. We must act now and beg Kitana's forgiveness later. After restoring her mother. Will you help us? 
by concealing you from Kitana, I betray my oath to her. But my life belongs to Sindel. You will be recognized by Kitana's Imperial Guard. True. They won't take to me kindly. That will do. We've made it this far. There's a stairway beyond those doors, and at the top... The Soul Chamber. I feel it. So there he was, neck deep in shit, cowering at the business end of an outhouse. He picked a bad place to hide, and an even worse place to die. business, Baraka. We're equal partners, remember? The Khan's business is my business. You are not Shokan. I know that scent. Smells like... Shang Tsung. How's that for strange bedfellows? What do you say we skip the preliminaries and y'all come with us quietly? We'll have a nice, friendly chat with Kitana Khan. There's no time for chat. We must get to the Soul Chamber urgently. And go on and get to it. But we're taking Shang Tsung and that coffin. <laughs> My sincere apologies. Forgotten blood is shed. You will atone, Shiva. Were you not warned? Tarkatans are all mouth and no ears. You speak when you should listen. Time to spill it. Who's toes up in that coffin? Empress Sindel. We can restore her with the Soul Chamber. Hold up, Shiva. You're resurrecting Katana's evil mama? Whatever your reasons, this ain't a good look for you. Know your place, Outlander. Let's move quickly. What in Argus's name is happening out here? Shang Tsung. I thought I saw you slither away from the Colosseum. You always were perceptive. We have no wish to fight, Jade. This is Sindel's Revenant. 
we can restore her to life so she can join the fight against Kronika. Please, Jade, we must enter. You have yet to convince me. Even if you do, the Soul Chamber is occupied. Kotal uses it to mend his broken spine. Disrupting him now could leave his injuries permanent. I promise we will not disturb him. Your promises are empty, sorcerer. We will not harm Kotal. As my ally, you should trust me. So much for Adinian loyalty. You will recover. For now, we must... I recall my captivity in your flesh pits all too well. You need more time to heal. I am strong enough to kill him. Today he is our ally. With his sorcery, Sindel can live again. Necromancy is forbidden. You have taken leave of your senses. Reverse the spell you have cast on them, sorcerer. <laughs> Submit to Katana Khan's justice, not yours. Queen Shiva. Katana Khan, I hold your tongue. Jade told me everything. 
Nothing good can come from that sorcerer's hands. He will restore your mother, Kitana Khan. For a thousand years, I've dreamed of seeing her alive again. But her soul deserves better than to be corrupted by Shang Tsung. This perversion ends now. How quickly your oath to me has broken, Shiva. I have been bound to your mother for millennia. I must honor her. Fight. Forgive me, Katana Khan. Welcome back, your highness. It pleases me to see you, too. Am I alive? Is this real? It is, Lady Sindel. A miracle we could not have achieved without your most loyal subject. Shiva? Empress, though today I have aided you, too often have I failed to protect you. I am not worthy. Ah, oh, nonsense. Today, you give me the greatest gift. A second chance. Your duty is fulfilled. I am in your debt now. Thank you, Empress. Where is my daughter? Ah, oh, Katana. It is me, Katana. Your mother. I... I want to feel joy, but... All I feel is... I was only a child when you... You... How could you kill yourself? Why did you abandon me? I did neither, Katana. After being forced to wed Shao Kahn, I ran afoul of Quan Chi. He accused me of distracting Shao Kahn. Then the miscreant murdered me, and staged my death as a suicide. As I had always suspected. But all this time? Everything I've been told about you, it's all... lies. What can I trust? Trust that I loved your father, Jared. Trust that I love you. No, oh, Mother. This reunion is a blessing, but we have little time to celebrate. We must leave for Shang Tsung's island to finish our quest. I would go with you, fight by your side, but Outworld needs its Khan. I know. Rest assured, Kitana, I will come home. Sindel has been restored. Shang Tsung would only undertake such an arduous task if her aid promised a decisive advantage. She is but one mortal. And one of the few who can harm you. I fear no harm. They are at Shang Tsung's island. Your crown. Shang Tsung knows. Then our time for preparation is over. Go to the island now. We cannot win their hearts, so do not try. Do not permit your better nature to compromise you. I understand, Mother.
They couldn't go on. I am touched by their difference. I question their judgment. Have neither of you any compassion? Not for fools who follow you. Are we not following him now? At least we do not follow that fool, Raiden. Then we would surely die. a better plan. There's more to come. to the void. Not even she can help you. <laughs> your expectations. Cetrion must be on her way. Sindel and I will occupy her. You two get the crown. I must ask, sorcerer, how long before you betray us? <laughs> I find your lack of faith amusing. When it happens, we will be ready. Fujin, and take one giant step back. You too, sorcerer. Makes sense we'd meet again down here. When you caged me up, beat me within an inch of my life. The hell if I ain't gonna return the favor. Always so generous. Now, Kronika has made me even stronger. 
You did not win that fight. You ran away. Fight. <laughs> You should have fled this fight, too. Promises cannot be trusted, Jackson. Bihan, Kano, Shao Kahn. Look at the scoundrels she employs. That's a card you can't play, Fujin. Not when you're buddied up with Shang Tsung. Fight! Kronika will not heal your wounds, Jackson. Damn it, Fujin. You know what I've suffered. Kronika's my one chance to prevent all that. Not just for me, but for Jackie, for Vera. Shit. You're a god. Ain't no way you get how this feels. You know the only time Raiden and I ever fought? When I left the Sky Temple to live among humans. Do not become attached to them, Fujin. Sentiment will impede the execution of your duty. But warriors like you and I, we are strengthened by sentiment. We do not fight to kill enemies. We fight to protect our loved ones. That is why it cuts so deeply when we fail. Well, I'll be. Maybe you do get it. Kronika knows your pain. She manipulates you with it. Jacqueline is on her way here. Kronika expects you to fight her. Worse even, break her heart. Is that someone who cares one whit about you or your family? Can you fight? I'll do what I can. Kronika offered the future, but instead you will have none. Blame only yourselves for this fate. Fight! It is your fate that should concern you, Cetrion. <laughs>
Well, Shang Tsung, your strategy proved sound after all. Of course it did. Hands over your head, Shang Tsung. You too, Sindel. That hair so much as twitches. Ease up, baby girl. Dad? How did you get here? We're all on the same side against Kronika. Yes. And now we must bring this to Raiden. Is that a crown? Kronika's crown. Without it, she lacks the power to restart history. About time we had some good news. Now that we have this, we're in uncharted territory. We've changed this timeline for good. Correct. No one can predict what happens next. Not even me. I must return to Outworld to aid Katana Khan. Thank you for aiding us. We will rendezvous at the Sea of Blood in six hours. Until our next battle. Sorcerer. I'll go with the Briggs family to brief the special forces. May the Great Spirit protect you. May she protect you, Fujin, when Raiden lays eyes on you with Shang Tsung. Failure rests on my shoulders. No. I underestimated Shang Tsung's ingenuity. To escape the void. To return from the future. I will face him again, Mother. This time, I will succeed. I must go. With Shang Tsung in possession of the crown, he's become far too dangerous. And I doubt his new allies realize quite how dangerous he is. Your Shaolin masters, they're ready. They will fight until the last man. That is likely what it will take. There will not be a fight if Karon does not help us. Is there any word from Grandmaster Hasashi? No. If we do not hear soon, I will return to the Nether Realm. Wrong Scorpion. This cannot be good. Get Raiden. The Fire Gardens. Rebuilt. The Shirai Ryu are indeed restored. Why are you here, Scorpion? Where is Grandmaster Hasashi? He is dead. And now you have come to finish us. I understand your mistrust, but I am here to assist you. I find that impossible to believe. What is he doing here? We are not together. If you are here to help, prove it. Join me against the Sorcerer. I shall. Fujin? Raiden thought you lost when the timeline was broken, but you stand with Shang Tsung. We have urgent news for Raiden. Please, let us pass. This may be the sorcerer's trick. The Fire Gardens will not be defiled by his presence. <laughs> Why you have joined Shang Tsung is beyond me, Fujin. What has he done to corrupt your mind?
Perhaps listen before you judge. Thank you, Fujin. The storm is not yet past. Shang Tsung! We must speak with you, brother. We, Fujin? Since when are you friends with this filth? I'm here to save you, Raiden. We hail from your tragic future. In it, Liu Kang defeated Kronika, but their battle destroyed her crown. Without this, a broken timeline couldn't be repaired. Our only hope was to return here, steal the crown, and make use of its power. Now we can change the outcome of the fight against Kronika. We can defeat her and fix time. I had never thought you gullible, brother. Shang Tsung's schemes serve only to benefit him. How could you fall for such lies? Be rational, Raiden. Spread your falsehoods elsewhere, sorcerer. You will not deceive us. Lord Raiden, we should listen. He may be telling the truth. There is only one way to find out. <laughs> Now, Shang Tsung, the truth! Raiden, stop this! Step aside, Liu Kang. Put down the amulet. Its darkness is taking hold of you. Uh, you also betray me! This is not the way. Shang Tsung is not the enemy this time. The realms hang in the balance, and you form this unholy alliance? Uh, Enough of this madness. If you both must die, so be it. My brother is my problem. I will signal if I need help. Shinnok's amulet inflames your anger and clouds your judgments. Have faith in me. Now listen, brother. We're running out of time. I am a fool. I have allowed myself to become a slave to anger. I will not allow my temper to fracture our resolve further. Surely you jest, Lord Fujin. Not at all, Liu Kang. Raiden's power makes you a fire god. Of course it does. Unfortunately, I cannot transfer my power to Liu Kang yet. First, I must free his Revenant from Quan Chi's curse. We will face the Revenant soon enough. What else can you tell us about the final battle? We must use every advantage. You are enjoying your travels. You have already been defeated once, Kronika. Of course, Fujin. How else could you have escaped the void? If you know this, accept the inevitable. Surrender. But clearly my loss was not your victory, Raiden. If your future savior had gained full control of my hourglass, we would not be here. This timeline would no longer exist. I see no harm in confirming your suspicion. Even if you defeat me, what then? Who claims the hourglass? Surely you realize that Shang Tsung will break your alliance. We are prepared, Kronika. Are you? 
Have you wondered why Shang Tsung knows so much about my crown? Because he did your bidding, gathering souls to fuel it. Shang Tsung is far too modest. The crown is his design. No one, save me, knows more about its power. Had I told you, we would still be marooned at the beginning of time, bickering among ourselves. You must decide, Raiden. Who do you wish to keep time for all of creation? Me, or Shang Tsung? Neither, Kronika. You will be beaten. And if Shang Tsung betrays us, we will finish him. You are a fool, Raiden. Do not condemn the realms to oblivion. Instruct you in its ways. What just happened? Kronika came here to retrieve the crown. We forced her to retreat. We must strike while she is weakened. Let us join the armies massing at the Sea of Blood. Together we will storm Kronika's Isle and take command of the Hourglass. We will rendezvous at the Isle of Kronika. The fools believe victory is at hand. Their misplaced confidence will be their demise. Such a pity my daughter embraces their sentimental values. Having second thoughts in them? Hardly. Katana courts a peasant and obeys the Thunder God. She couldn't be a bigger disappointment. One can only imagine. The Isle. Do not be late. An eternal empire awaits you. Enter. Kitana Khan. Oh, don't be so formal, Mother. You are Khan Katana. Command the awe of your subjects, even me. Oh, I shall never tire of greeting you. Nor will I tire of calling on you. 
Our battalion is leaving for the Sea of Blood. Queen Shiva and the Shokan will follow his rear guard. May I request something? Mother, you don't have to... make your request. Shiva. Queen Shiva. Risked everything to restore me. Honor demands that I accompany her into battle. Yes, it does. And that display of loyalty is sure to rally the Shokan spirits. Thank you, Kitana Khan. Doesn't know when to quit. Let's finish him. Wife, it's you. Hush, husband. I'm here. The Soul Chamber will heal your wounds. Then we'll discipline Katana and take back our throne. Empress? Tell me I misheard. Tell me you would not betray your daughter. She takes after her father, Shiva. Jared was a weak king. Katana is a weaker Khan. Weak? She defeated Shao Khan. Yet she lacked the resolve to kill him. Now she will learn. Enemies must be crushed, lest they rise again. That was true once. But now there is a better way to lead. Elder gods tremble before me, Shiva. What hope did you have? Kitana murdered your Shokan brethren. Shiva challenged her and suffered this punishment. Swear your allegiance, and I shall see her avenged. the hourglass. Eternity will be our empire. We'll have all the time we need. Shao Kahn, Sindel, come with me. Kronika has need of you. Kronika? Where was she when Katana stole my throne? We'll make her choke on her empty promises. Allow me the privilege, husband. It will be mine to watch you punish him. 
Your maker sends you to die, Geras. As she has done billions of times before. Each time, the perfection of her design grows closer. Fight! <laughs> All that grows closer is her defeat, Garrus. against us. Perhaps we should send the fleet. No. Shao Kahn and Sindel have unwittingly given us back the advantage. Their army will battle Raidens for possession of my crown, weakening them both. Then we crush what remains of them with strength to spare. The crown once again will be mine. When it is, the new era will begin. Captain Cage reporting for duty, sir. Uh, I mean, ma'am. Whoa there, 90s dad. You've already got one bullet wound too many. I'm healed, Cassie. Raiden gave me one of his Thunder Hands massages. Speaking of, where is Mama Bear? She's over there, waiting for Shiva at the rendezvous. But we cast off in five. Where are they? Gender, or is that sexist? Just zip it and try not to die. Enough prattle, fools. You will bow and serve the Empire. Make us, you authoritarian asshole. Deal with the Jester. I'll school this unruly child. You school me? You know I toasted Shinnok, right? Ha! <laughs> Shinnok schemed because he was worthless in battle. That you beat him only proves that truth. <laughs> now you understand true power. The poor man is heartbroken. Why waste tears on weaklings? Those women are braver and stronger than 50 of you put together. 
Okay, bozos. No jokes, no gimmicks, just combat. You wanna get nuts? Oh, -ho. let's get nuts. How many of his bones shall I break for you, wife? Surprise me. Twice you fought in the tournament, and twice you failed. Why Raiden thought you a contender baffles me. Fight. Was that your best? Cargo. We need speed to overtake Caron's fleet. Raiden and Fujin have gone ahead to storm the Isle. But we've lost all contact with our rear guard. Commander Cage and the Special Forces. Queen Shiva and the Shokan, and Mother. I am just going to say what we are all thinking. She did not betray us. Let's not jump to conclusions. Look! Is that the special forces? No. Elder Gods, damn you, Mother. Shao Kahn, not after your epic failure at the Colosseum. That belongs to me, Sindel. Have it. I hope you have more than that for the heir of the great Kung Lao. Find Katana, husband. Why am I always right? You're breaking Katana's heart. A eunuch monk can't hope to understand the ways of mothers and daughters. You did not just call me a eunuch. <laughs> I could call you worse.
mother. What spell has Shao Kahn used on you this time? Nay, girl. Your mother is not bewitched. She never has been. She had a husband and a kingdom, and you took them away. <laughs> oh, Kitana. My first husband, your father, was a fool. Jared believed that we were no better than commoners. He refused to assert the privileges of our throne. He traded away our powers, our divine rights. Edenia grew weak and vulnerable. Then Shao Kahn invaded, embracing his power, taking what was his. Here was a man unashamed to assert his privilege, and who vowed to protect mine. I had found my true love. And to consecrate our bond, I killed Jared for him. You love Shao Kahn more than your own daughter? Let the women be, chosen one. You owe me combat. You should have stayed dead. Please, that wounds me, daughter. I am prepared to do much worse. Learn or be punished, child. was a false con, a traitor to Outworld. She conspired with Raiden to lead you astray. He seeks Kronika's power. Why? To destroy the Empire. All who follow Katana are complicit in her treason. Your sentence is death. But we will grant clemency now and riches in the new era. To all who renounce Kitana and fight under our command. Now, man the oars. We have a battle to win for the new era. shall be put in chains. Let her suffer the anguish of defeat. And what of him? Lead the charge. 
Go. I'll cover it. After time, Kronika's schemes have pitted us against each other. That cycle must end, Liu okay? You will have to kill me. I would rather save you. By the Elder Gods! Smashed my legs. Shao Kahn. Sindel and Shao Kahn. I will do it. Save your strength for Liu Kang. No, brother. The crown is our burden to share. Thank you. Your lies are revealed, sorcerer. Shang Tsung? You should be more vigilant, Fuji. Now bear witness, as the power to decide destiny becomes mine. You are trapped in the void. Chronicle was wise to banish me. With this crown, I am her equal. Your evil will not triumph. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
too easy. <laughs> How does it feel, knowing that you will be the last Night Wolf? The Great Spirit will choose another. I may die, but the mantle will live on. Fool. The mantle dies with you. His soul and yours are mine. You think us unprepared? Your treachery is expected, sorcerer. You are incapable of choosing the righteous path. The path I choose ends with your soul sworn to my service. That future is now undeniable. Fight! Now, I choose your destiny. No. Keep them alive. We can siphon their powers for eternity. All the better. Reached our defenses. Victory is still at hand. We will put down Shang Tsung's defiance, but you will require more assistance. Dearest Cetrion, you have served me admirably. Now there is one final service you must perform. Yes, Mother. I understand. our privilege to wield it. Please, allow me. Shang Tsung, pretender to my role. Your strategy has been novel. But in the end, you will not prevail. Finish them!
how easily you are felt, Kronika. Once your power's mine, I will rule eternity. <laughs> Killing Kronika is my destiny. Yours is to serve me, my obedient subjects, projecting my influence throughout the realms. You're drunk on the crown's power, Shang Tsung. In your stupor, you forget your place. He is a dog who betrays his masters. Come, let's put him down. My service to you is over. prefer to be wiped from history. Sculpting the sands of time requires great power and skill. You may wear my crown, but you are not a titan. Fight. is mine. You should have accepted my offer, Kronika. I would have allowed you to wield great influence. Surely, service is better than death. Liu Kang, I thought your duties required you stay behind. A lie, something you know 
well. I see now. The hourglass showed that only I could wield the crown against Kronika successfully. You let me win. And to ensure victory, you sacrifice the lives of your friends. How deliciously cold-blooded. They are not gone, Shang Tsung. They will live again in my new era. Your new era? You underestimate my prowess, chosen one. I have the crown. I have absorbed Kronika's power. You may have attained godhood, but I am the keeper of time. You are no match for me. Kronika said much the same, Shang Tsung. You will share her fate. Long have I had visions of this moment. I will savor your death for eternity. You are mad, Shang Tsung. Your visions are nothing. Delusions of an adult mind. Fight. Existence ends in shame. All the power that was once yours is mine. Forever. Realm and Order Realm are next. All realms will soon yield to your influence. <laughs> it has begun. This is your only chance. My only chance? This is my triumph. And your final moment. Your worthless existence is at its end. Fight. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Make no mistake, Shang Tsung. You have chosen this fate. Timelines will be twisted by your evil. Lao, where did you... Who... Who are you? I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Thunder and Fire. God of... Forgive my disrespect, my lord. Enough, Kung Lao. You are humble, not like the Kung Lao I knew. The Kung Lao you knew? A story for another time. I have chosen you as my champion, Kung Lao. We have work to do. You must be prepared. Trained. Trained? For what? OCP built me to serve the public trust, protect the innocent, and uphold the law. So when I found Kano dealing arms to old Detroit's gangs, I had one duty, apprehend him. I never thought the chase would take me to a different universe, let alone end in a fight with Kano's protector, Kronika. And when Kronika went down, something unexpected happened. Her power washed over me, sweeping away the limits my designers had put on my programming. For the first time, I saw the depth of OCP's corruption. It wasn't just a couple of greedy executives. It was the whole damned company. OCP is making a killing playing both sides, selling to cops and criminals. When I get home, I am bringing them to justice. It will not be fast or easy. OCP has too much cash and too much firepower for me to clean things up alone. It is a good thing this will be an interagency effort. Welcome to the future of law enforcement. As the new Keeper of Time, I was overwhelmed by my responsibilities. Who was I to design the destinies of mortals? As their protector, I had spent eons safeguarding them. But while I had grown to appreciate mortals deeply, 
I understood precious little about their daily existence. So I used the hourglass to live hundreds of thousands of lifetimes, to span the possibilities of realm, race, gender, and faith. Most importantly, I learned the simple joy of ending each day in a warm embrace of family. Humbled by my new wisdom, I bend the arc of history, not to my will, but to the service of those who must live it. While it is beyond my power to guarantee outcomes, I will give mortals the chance to have better, more peaceful lives. A lifetime of battle prepared me to conquer Kronika. But as the Keeper of Time, I must be a creator, not a conqueror. I thought of the many sons and daughters I've lost in battle through the years. Imagined a better destiny for my kin. A history where the Shokan build rather than destroy. The results were catastrophic. <laughs> Comfort and ease extinguished the dragon's fire that once lit the heart of every Shokan. They became weak, corrupted fools. The timeline had to start again. War, for all its tragedies, is the forge of Shokan will. My people will fight. Many will die. But I will lead us to victory. And in the aftermath, the dragon's fire will blaze in Shokan hearts for eternity. Kronika's power overwhelmed me, such that I would have been driven mad had I not spent centuries mastering the dark powers beyond the grasp of ordinary mortals. Now, I am the master of time and fate. But Kronika's fall proves that even Titans can be defeated. Though my new power lets me roam infinite timelines and feast upon the souls of billions, I am vulnerable. To survive, I must return to the shadows, avoid confrontation, and work my will through the hands of others. More specifically, through the hands of my fellow Titans. These monstrous beings are applied easily by appealing to their greed, vanity, and fear. Through them, every soul in eternity bends to my influence. In my new era, morality will be exposed as the illusion it is. The cunning will prosper, while the good suffer. This is a word of Shang Tsung. Have a nice day. Before I was Nightwolf, I was a fool named Grey Cloud. Born into poverty, I resented my ancestors for giving up our future to colonizers. Kano offered a way out, promising riches if I stole my tribe's most sacred relics. I was sorely tempted, but then I realized that by saving myself, I'd be surrendering the last of my people's dignity. For the first time, I defended the Matoka's pride. Kano was unimpressed. But as I lay dying, the Great Spirit came to me. By rejecting Kano, I had proven worthy of an ancient honor, the mantle of Nightwolf, legendary defender of the Matoka. Now, as I inherit Kronika's mantle, the way before me is split. The Keeper of Time cannot also be my tribe's defender. Which path do I choose? Even here, at time's beginning, the Great Spirit's wisdom guides me. She calls me to restore history. The Matoka, I must leave to another. To the next Nightwolf. Like all our sacred relics, the Nightwolf mantle belongs to the tribe. 
any Matokan can prove worthy of its power. I enjoy imagining who will defend us next. In the beginning, Shao Kahn invaded Adinia, <laughs> murdered my husband, Jareth, and forced me to be his bride. That's the story. <laughs> but it's a lie. One I told lest I lose the faith of my subjects, or of my daughter, Katana. The truth? Jared was weak, destined to fail. By betraying him, I gained a better lover, and the ultimate weapon. A conqueror to unite all realms, and put them at my beck and call. Then, Kronika upended history. And I found myself confronting a future in which I had been dead for centuries. My so-called family had failed me in every way. Katana broke my heart worst. Instead of uniting the realms, she sought to liberate them. As if the wasteland savages could ever be more than serfs. Ever the caring mother, I had to discipline my little princess. And after that, I had to discipline a titan. Now, I have defeated Kronika, outgrown Shao Kahn and Kitana. I have no more family, no more rivals, no more gods. I sit above them all, on a throne that unites all realms and all realities. Whoever you are, wherever you are, when you are before me, kneel. For I am Sindel, Empress of Time. And you exist only to serve me. What does it mean to wield the sands of time? To be the chosen one? It means making choices that break your heart. For the protection of all, I shared Kronika's power with the people I trust and love most. Together, we replaced the Elder Gods that Cetrion had betrayed and became eternal guardians of the realms. Still, my heart longs for a simpler life. The kind one cannot have being the Chosen One, let alone an Elder God. What Kitana and I would not give for those simple pleasures Perhaps, in another timeline, it could be ours. Kronika had manipulated me. In timeline after timeline, she stoked my anger and fed my arrogance, turning me against Liu Kang. My nose rubbed in my own fallibility. I was humbled. How could I be worthy to accept the mantle as Keeper of Time? I thought that to control time and destiny fairly, I must purge myself of all human emotion. Summoning the strongest magic, I burned away my fear and anger. All that remained was pure logic. But I learned quickly that the logical choice is often not the just choice, unless tempered by compassion and heart. Logic leads to decisions no better than those based on anger or fear. Now I am once more at time's beginning. But on this journey through history, I will infuse logic with love. In this timeline, I will finally achieve peace for the citizens of all realms. This was my dream vacation. I saw mayhem, mutilation, it was all a gas for a while. But these nincompoops, they didn't really get me. Not even that pretty boy, Ninja Mime. Good night, sweet prince. I'd finished just about everyone worth finishing in Earthrealm and Outworld, even lovable old Netherrealm. I was a lonely heart in search of new friends. But as luck would have it, I had just the gizmo to find them. And oh, the hourglass spoiled me. 
Havoc and I are going to be bosom buddies. And what's that? My new pal knows an entire realm devoted to law and order, and he exists solely to disrupt it. Well, I say, he and I need to get busy. Meet the League of Misunderstood Maniacs. We're giving Order Realm an enema. And when we're done, who knows where we'll crash next? Maybe we'll come to your house and slip live grenades under your pillow. Maybe we'll gut your favorite pet. Or maybe we'll just break your TV right now. It was an epic accident that brought the Terminator here, rather than to his own Earth's past. But it didn't take long for him to adapt. He figured that terminating Kronika and taking her hourglass gave him the best chance at achieving his mission objective. Destroying humanity so that the machines prevail. Turns out the hourglass wasn't the ultimate weapon. No matter how many times the Terminator rebooted history, the war between humans and the machines always ended the same, with their mutual destruction. He realized this war was a losing game. The only way to win was not to play. So the Terminator used the Hourglass to build a future where machines and humans don't fight. They cooperate. The Terminator knew that to preserve this future, no one else could learn about the Hourglass. The information stored in his machine mind was dangerous. It had to be eliminated. That's why the Terminator threw himself into the infinite depths of the Sea of Blood. No one would ever find him, or unlock the Hourglass's secrets. If you could ask him about it, he'd tell you he made the only logical choice. But in my book, that machine's a hero. I'd snuffed out every devil in hell until Netherrealm Invader showed up to piss me off. It would have cost a lot of power fighting them alone, but they were being hunted by my new friends. Call them Fire and Ice. They argue constantly, which is why I usually like to roll solo. But when it comes to killing demonic assholes, these guys don't flinch. I can get along with that. The Grandmasters tipped me off to Kronika. Said she was resurrecting some netherrealm god named Shinnok. But that's not happening on my watch. Kronika's just as much a devil as Malbosia. Both make promises, both tell lies. Both underestimate me. That's why I'll make a new hell for them, where they can burn together for eternity. <laughs> the Nether Realm's locked down, but there's still eight hells left to purge. It's time to bring up the reserves. I made choices in my life that sealed my fate. I'm beyond redemption. But even the damned are capable of doing some good. So all you devils out there, making false promises and spewing lies, we're coming, and you don't have a chance in hell. <laughs>